The images seen around the world, the siege in Australia, a gunman taking 17 hostages, the horror lasting 16 hours. And here is the moment they stormed in. Just listen. SWAT teams, guns drawn, barreling into the store, opening fire. It all happened in under a minute when they entered, the windows lighting up with gunfire. All the while, hostages sprinting to safety. One man face down on the ground there, surrendering. A woman carried out by rescuers, another woman crying as she gripped the arm of an officer. Tonight, three people, including the gunman, are now dead. Who was he and what was his motivation? ABC's David Wright on the ground in Australia. After the 16-hour standoff, the dramatic rescue took less than a minute. Australian police tossing flash grenades and storming the cafe. A fiery end to a crisis that began at 9.45 this morning, just blocks from the American consulate and the world-famous Sydney Opera House at the Lint Chocolate Cafe in the heart of downtown Sydney. The gunman, identified as Mon Haran Monis, taking 17 hostages, their hands pressed against the windows of the cafe. Live TV broadcasting this chilling image, hostages raising a black Islamic flag. Please descend. Buildings evacuated. The downtown area on lockdown. While inside the cafe, the gunman in plain sight. Then, nearly five hours into the standoff, three men burst from the cafe, sprinting to safety. Later, two women running for their lives. And then the hostage videos began. The gunman demanding an ISIS flag and a chance to speak with the Australian Prime Minister. He's only asking for a flag and a phone call, and that's it. Just after 2 a.m., another hostage running to safety, dropping to the ground. Then five more. Fifteen minutes later, the raid. Oh, they're going in. They're going in. They made the call because they believed that at that time, if they didn't enter, there would have been many more lives lost. The hostages finally free. Some of them carried to safety. Two killed in the melee, and tonight, the gunman himself also dead. Behind me here, you can see the street still blocked off. All of these buildings evacuated. Australia's largest city brought to a standstill as these dramatic events unfolded. Tonight, the Australian Prime Minister said it is tragic beyond words. The people just going about their daily lives should have been caught up in such an horrific incident.